guys, welcome to the Sports Note for Friday, February 10th. I should have actually taped this last night. I had some stuff going on uh, after we posted out the uh, the the blog entry. Um, but it's now been eight days since Tom Brady announced his retirement from the NFL for the second time. And let's actually see if it sticks this time. He actually promised he was walking away for good. Uh, but we all see how long that lasted uh, this time a year ago, it was nearly a uh, one year to the day that Brady announced his retirement, uh, and then it was very widely speculated and publicized that uh, he he came back after 40 days, despite strong suggestion from his wife Giselle Bundchen um, to stay uh, to essentially stay retired uh, in the in the season that passed. In, in, the enti- in the entire calendar year that passed, Brady finished uh, below 500 for the first time in his career. The Buccaneers finished uh, under 500. Brady went out and lost uh, his uh, the the playoff game 31-14. He looked like absolute garbage um, through I uh, through a couple of interceptions in the first half. I want to say maybe even in the first quarter because I did not watch the game. I actually saw the highlights because, you know, let's face it, uh, Tom Brady against Dallas is like cheering for, uh, you know, diarrhea versus the flu because either one sucks and you're both bedridden and and you just kind of wish you were dead at that point. Um, But Brady's last two playoff games, if we remember, now were going out and getting smacked around by Dallas and then him... Uh, staging that massive comeback only to fall uh, short in the end against the Los Angeles Rams in the uh, in the Rams run up to winning the Super Bowl last year and until this uh, all the way the Rams are technically still the defending champions until a new champion is crowned on uh, on Sunday night in the Super Bowl um but Brady just with a little nick on his chin, crying and bitching and pissing and moaning to the officiating uh, that I got hurt. Aaron Donald hit me. It's a, you know, grow up, suck it up. It's a, you're part of the reason why people say, you know, they need to take the dresses off the quarterbacks in the, uh, in the league and that they're way too protected. You're the one that started that. Um, so let's actually, let's call a spade a spade here. Uh, you know, you you deflated footballs. You were part of a team that videotaped the opponent's practices, uh, and uh, uh, again uh, turned your uh, you know went back on your word about retiring uh, last year, and uh, and 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 oh yeah, let's also remember they basically prefaced a rule to protect you uh, in in that tuck rule bullshit. Uh, way back when, um, Brady w- is probably the most protected player in the history of the NFL. Um, you can't argue with with seven Super Bowl championships unless you think of the fact that at least four of those could definitely have an asterisk next to them. Naturally, the first one, uh, Deflate Gate, that's two right there, and then you can actually take your pick of the other uh, of any of the other five. He also lost in three Super Bowls twice to Eli Manning. Um, he is going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, even though he was an afterthought of the of the Patriots uh, 2010, uh, I'm sorry, the, the Patriots 2000 NFL draft, as we all know it by now, picked uh, pick in the sixth round. Brady does hold the record for most wins as a quarterback at 251. He's got, uh, he's got the most Touchdowns at 649, uh, basically shattered Drew Brees' record and then some. He's got over 89,000 passing yards. Uh, he said he wanted to play until he was he was 45, 46 at at the level that he was playing in the regular season. He could have had, uh, you know 11,000 yards. That would have been three more years for him uh, if he actually would have. You know, would still be as protected as he is. He could have hit 100,000 yards. There's also a very good possibility that um, had he actually not missed uh, that entire season when he uh, when he you know blew out his knee, that 100,000 yards could have been in the conversation here. Um, 
with that. He's a, he is a three-time uh, MVP. He's a five-time Super Bowl MVP. He's the number. He is a two-time Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, three-time first-team All-Pro. Uh, he led the league in passing touchdowns five times. Uh, he was the passing leader four times. Basically named across any uh, all-decade team or all-anniversary teams. Uh, you know, certainly once he steps into the broadcast booth, he's uh, he's allegedly taking a year off before he starts that massive uh, ten-year, three hundred fifty million dollar plus deal with uh, with Fox Sports. Uh, starting in 2024, the Patriots will certainly retire his jersey uh, at that particular point. I don't think they're going to want to do it right away just on the off chance he changes his mind one more time and comes back. Uh, but the part that, you know, outside of uh, how protected he is, the, the golden boy image despite, you know, being caught cheating several times, um, and multiple times, uh, uh, and 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 multiple times lying about it on camera. Um, the part that also kind of sticks in your craw about Brady as of late is ESPN brought up, and 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 I want to say maybe even you know Fox Sports brought up, uh, you know the fact that it was time for him to walk away. He's got nothing more to prove. The Patriots, I, I'm sorry, the the Buccaneers were not going to be. Uh, we're not going to. They certainly were going to fall off. They were not going to be able to put together a Super Bowl caliber team, especially with way with how some of the teams in the NFC uh, are coming up. I got a feeling that the Rams, uh, you know, could uh, could retool, uh, possibly make a run. Uh, maybe a, Minnesota's got another year left in their run. The Detroit Lions are coming up, and then you got Dallas, uh, Philadelphia. The Giants are coming back up. Um, that entire division that the that the Buccaneers are in is an absolute joke. Uh, so you can't you can't really put stock in there. Uh, you would think San Francisco, but they don't know what their quarterback situation is going to look like. Are they still going to turn it over to Trey Lance? Uh, you know, with his injury uh, history, are they going to are they possibly going to run with Brock Purdy next year? Uh, is Garoppolo going to be there? Uh, is is Garoppolo possibly being targeted by? The Patriots for uh, I'm sorry for uh, uh, by the um, by the Buccaneers for his veteran leadership uh, and also the fact that he studied under Brady so he would certainly know how to run that system even though they haven't played together or at least been on the same roster together uh, in at least the last six or seven years. Um, but the um, the fact that they brought up that Brady after everything he's accomplished kind of needs to walk away uh you know go be a family man he's gone through a, a public divorce he's he's now a single father um let me pose the question that nobody's got the balls to ask why is tom brady a single father and why is tom brady divorced oh yeah that's right. He couldn't get out of the way of his own ego and wanted to come back and gain more hardware, knowing full well that he was basically at the end of his rope uh, and and his career was going to be on the downslope. It's uh, Brady has looked average, I'd say. As the later the seasons progressed, this wasn't like, you know towards the end of his time in New England and then that first year. Uh, the last two years, Brady, I don't want to say he's looked pedestrian. He's looked good, but he's definitely looked a lot more like Kirk Cousins um, than than Patrick Mahomes. He's a guy who can get you there, but when the chips are down and the game is on the line, he folds like a cheap card table in the middle of a hurricane that's passing through Tampa. Um, so... Brady, great career, Hall of Fame caliber. Uh, congratulations on your second retirement. Uh, but uh, but do us all a favor. Don't go away sad. Don't post another sad, you know, elaborate thing on on Instagram like you did the other day. Um, you know, don't don't go away sad. Don't go away mad. Uh, just go away. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment box below. Um, 
one more thing. It's I'm not actually ever going to consider Brady for all of his history and his controversies to be the greatest of all time. I'm also not in the business of really saying somebody is the greatest of all time because I brought this up in the blog. Uh, people consider Jim Brown the greatest running back of all time, and there's a very distinct possibility if you thought that way that you could uh, that you could make that argument. Some people will say Emmitt Smith for the rushing record, um, but. Brady plays in a game where it's very pass happy and and running backs only have a typical shelf life at the top at, at the apex of their careers of about six to seven years where Brown, the the quarterback, was um really not what it anywhere near what it was now. The running game was the focal point. Uh, and that's why you see teams trying to now maybe buck the trend if they don't have the dominant quarterback that they've actually go out and get that top uh, that top tier level of running back kind of like what Cleveland's done with Nick Chubb uh what what Tennessee's done with Derrick Henry their quarterback play has been marginal at best uh so they rely on their run game uh, to be able to keep them uh to competitive Brady never really had a great running game in any of the years uh, he was there, uh, uh, LeGarrett Blount. Um, uh, I want to. I, I, I can't even. Uh, James White. He did not have great running backs at any point here. Um, so yeah, naturally his his numbers were going to look a lot better. Kind of like you know uh, some of the other teams out there. Uh, even uh, even a team like like Buffalo, Josh Allen is is as good as he is and gets as much praise as he is because Devin Singletary is not uh, a an every down type of back like a Chubb or or a Henry are. So again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, where would you put Brady all time? Uh, where would you actually uh, do you think the the controversies that he had in his career? taints his legacy? Do you think he hung on too long like a Joe Montana or a Brett Favre did? Uh, but I actually will be back with you guys here certainly this weekend. I got something coming up on, on uh, Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. We will not touch on we will not be doing a separate post on the Kevin Durant trade. Um, we will actually be tied. That will work its way somewhat into the Jokic piece coming up here this weekend because also we actually just spent enough time uh, with the with the Kyrie Irving trade just last week, and I'm not giving uh, the Nets that level of of publicity, so to speak. So I'm not doing two Nets pieces in in the in the course of nine days at that point. So let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys later on this week.